Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special review for you guys. You would have seen it on my thumbnail. It is this beautiful vintage Dior clutch here. It is so gorgeous. I found it on eBay and I have to credit one of my favorite YouTubers here on YouTube land and she's also Canadian, Melissa Soldera. She is the one who inspired me to go look on eBay and she found herself some pretty darn good pieces herself. So if you guys uh, don't know who I'm talking about, I will link down below her video. Speaking of this clutch as well, I found out later, well I guess I kind of remembered at the back of my mind that I saw this somewhere. I knew that there was a reason why I kind of recognized this when I saw it online and snatched it up. And so um, when I was talking to my good friend Mel in Melbourne, she actually has the same one except that hers says CD here instead of Dior, which is uh, what my plaque says. And I think, uh, well, according to her, hers is from the 70s and mine could be from the 80s. So. I'm really excited for it. It's so gorgeous. And yeah, so this is the lovely piece here. And and the thing that I'm the most impressed about with these vintage pieces or at least with this clutch here is that it opens like this. It has this really awesome um closure. It's just like a metal hinge and you open and close it like that. And at first, I wasn't sure why I was making all these funny noise, but apparently after a while of opening and closing it, um, when I was inspecting it, it was because one of these hinge thingies, it was popping up. Of course, I caught it before it came off and I just pinched it back. Obviously, when I did buy it, it was a little bit beat up. It wasn't that bad, um, but it was definitely a little bit beat up, so I did have it cleaned. I cleaned it myself by the way and I will let you know how I did it. Uh, it's not a professional way or anything and of course you do it at your own risk and I was okay with that. But basically I had to fix it up a little bit and I'm really happy with how it came out. This print here, this monogram print is coming back um, from Dior. It is called the Troder or the Trotti monogram print. And I didn't know any of this, I only uh, knew about it after I saw Melissa's video. So. I am definitely thankful that I saw her video and got inspired to go look for one. I wasn't all that successful at first because um, when she let us know about it, I of course went on to eBay and looked at whatever is out there and I didn't like any of the stuff that I saw. Basically none of the shapes or items that were offered at the time caught my eye basically. I I mean, you guys knew that I was always on the hunt for a clutch, but it had to be a nice enough clutch for me to get it because otherwise I'll just use any of my mini bags and I'd be totally happy with using those using those as my evening bags. So if I were to get something, um, even if it's really old and super affordable, super cheap vintage item, it had to be something that I was very attracted to. So I was glad that this shape came along and this clutch is so spacious, so beautiful and so classic looking. It looks pretty good to me now that I've kind of restored it. So it is fully lined in leather and the leather is pretty thick. And I'm actually really happy that it is leather inside so that um, it didn't you know, it wouldn't peel or anything because if it was one of those synthetic material, it might peel and everything. And I just have these silica little things that I leave inside to kind of absorb any remaining odor. And also I did have a good wipe down. So I'll insert a picture that I took with my phone. It's not the best resolution, but basically when I first got it, it wasn't as clean as it is now. As you can see, there's still a shadow of a little bit of the staining here and there but you can probably not really see it unless i don't even know if you can see it you probably cannot even see it anymore because i did have a really good clean in terms of wear and tear when i first got it it was obviously just a little dirty and it did smell a little bit of the old material it wasn't off-putting but it you know you can definitely tell that there was this old material smell like those old vintage material smell which I can still kind of smell it but I did clean it off quite a bit already and then as you can see the leather the edges are just a little bit more um maybe you can't even see it anymore they're just a little bit kind of worn out and the leather was slightly dried out as you can see you can probably tell from the edges here uh you see the 
the below here, the edges, and also some of the leather had some scuffing on it. It's not super major. I think here on the bottom, you can still see a little bit of white scuffs here. What I ended up using is Tie to Go. I know that Melissa just used a magic eraser onto the spots. After that, I went with a wet uh, microfiber cloth and I used a little bit of laundry detergent in a small little um, bowl. Mixed the, so basically I made a small solution of laundry detergent. I used that cloth to drench it and then I just went and wiped. I basically rubbed and wiped the whole canvas little by little until the whole canvas was basically cleaned or wet. Uh, and I did that on both sides as well as all the sides as well so that kind of gave it a surface a good surface clean you could tell that the cloth itself was you know had um, the soiled black parts on it because it was basically taking out a lot of the surface dirt and dust from all the years that accumulated and then after that the next day after it was dried i went ahead um, i went back again doing the same thing but this time with a couple drops of tea tree oil in the water solution that in itself is basically just clear water but the tea tree oil will kind of kill some of the bacteria that's on it if there was still any bacteria and also kind of um, rinse out the detergent that was uh, on the on the canvas the first time that I cleaned it but after cleaning the canvas I also went ahead and cleaned the metal as well as the leather so for the leather it was pretty simple i actually just had some sofa wipes they're just leather wipes that um basically they look like a baby wipe but they're just for for leather so i just went and wiped the whole thing down as well as the inside making sure that i grab any of the dust that was accumulated in the corners and it just basically gave back its own sheen to the leather and also it kind of removed some of the smell as well and with the plaque here, all I did is I used one of those um, polishing cloth for silver. Obviously, it was really hard to get into the uh, crevices, but I just used a very tiny screwdriver, the ones that you use for your sunglasses or glasses, and I just um, went around it with the cloth. Um, so the, the screwdriver was, you know, uh, wrapped around with the cloth, and I just went all around the crevices and was able to uh, polish off any any grime or anything that was inside it the only place that says made in france christian dior is here in the leather but i don't know if you'll be able to see it just because it's faded out already so i don't think that you'll be able to see it but it's right there basically and i it just says christian dior made in france and i can't find any like serial number or anything like that so I did get it authenticated by the way, in case you guys think that maybe it's not a real one. Um, I did go into the purse form, found the Dior thread and found the authentication thread and just um, sent them the details of this item and I was told that this item was real. So of course I was super happy about that. It already looked like an authentic item to me anyway when I bought it but I just wanted the confirmation and I'm glad that um, they think so as well. One night I was just bored, I suppose, and I went onto eBay and, and tried to see if there was anything at that point. And I saw this one. It was, I think it was 69 US dollars. And there was like a bunch of people watching. I think that there was at least 12 people watching this item. And I was thinking to myself, well, there's a lot of people watching it. It must be a nice thing. Um, the pictures were not the greatest to be honest like, you can't really tell from the picture whether this item was going to be in a really bad condition luckily it wasn't as bad as those pictures look like so that was a good thing and I just took the risk I just took the plunge I love having a little bit of Dior in my collection and it is vintage so I think it's a great find so anyway um, that's it for my video today I hope you guys enjoyed it I will definitely be doing a lot of styling with this as well on my Instagram so do check out my Instagram or do follow me there if you haven't already that's my reveal for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I just wanted to do this video to let you guys know that there are some gems like this out there on eBay and second uh, pre-love market like this and uh, that you can find these pieces at really really good prices and at 
decent condition that you can restore yourself or you can bring it to a handbag spa and they'll be able to do all of that for you guys as well I just decided to experiment and do it by, by myself just because I felt like it but uh, honestly if I wanted it to be restored even better or professionally I can probably have brought it to a spa but I just decided to do it myself because I wanted to try it out and it worked out pretty well. I guess that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you do decide to subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!